Good morning and welcome to worship today. Uh, Lent 4, can you believe we're already on to it? Uh, I'd like to start with some congratulations, although I do want to point out that we actually have a guest in our midst today. I couldn't figure out for a second why Albert Einstein was sitting in the sanctuary and then I remembered the date. So happy birthday, Albert Einstein. And I'm really glad you showed up in the sanctuary today. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I posted a picture to our Facebook page. Like, why are you all just trying to prank me? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, no, it's right there, Monica. Okay, good. Uh, I'd like to start with congratulations to Louie and Alma Kirstein on the safe arrival of their fifth grandchild this week. Uh, we Nolan was born March 10th to their granddaughter Greta and her husband Evan. Nolan is a new baby brother uh, for big brother Gordy, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, the other good news is that is the number of people I am seeing posting on social media or calling the church or emailing me to let me know that they have booked their COVID vaccine. Even more exciting are the ones who have actually already gotten it. Praise God. We are on the eve today of the last day that we were able to worship together in person. Can you believe it's been a whole year now? So much has changed since then and so much will still change. But this is good news. Hope is on the horizon. So I just wanted to call out to all of you, if you need any help or if you know of anyone who might need help registering for the vaccine or getting transportation to or from, please do not hesitate. Reach out to the church here at Knox because we would love to help you with whatever you need to help keep you safe and to expand the safety of our community. So I'm going to leave that with you. Other than that, the announcements are the same throughout the season of Lent. Holy Week is coming, but I'd like to pass it on to Lynn now, our chaplain, to share with us a pastoral update. <laughs> 